Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to Spark Player Life. I'm Courtney and today we are going to be prepping for the month of February. Yes, I know we are a week in, but it's never too late to set up your planner. So I have two planners. So I have my um, Everyday Carry, which is a B6 daily planner and it is a six month planner. So I am making progress here and I really have been enjoying it. It's getting pretty chunky. And then I have my B6 disc planner, which is essentially my everything else. Um, it houses my fitness, my meal plan, um, a weekly overview, which I will not be doing for the month of February, but houses everything else in it. And what I've learned from this past month is it's really hard to keep up with both. Um, and so I am still working on a way because I really like the um, bound planner just because it gets chunky and I love having the daily sheets. But that is something that I'm gonna have to think about when it comes to um, when this is finished with in um, the end of May, if I'm going to keep it or not. So what I'm going to be doing is taking this out and putting this back into my shelf that is um, a print pression um, planner keeper. And we are going to be setting up for the month of February. So right here, this is gonna be my cover. Um, and I really like it. it's cute. And so I'm just keeping the disc on it just because why not? And I don't think I actually have anything that is available that is of the classic size. So I am just popping this on. And I actually, so I laminated these like, or punched them incorrectly. So it should have been like this, but it's not. So we're just going to do it on the inside, which we'll be even seeing it anyways, because it is going to be going in a cover. And the cover I chose is this one, which I used, I believe in my December. Um, setup video because I thought it was pink it's cute it's girly and it fits so we have that and um there we have it so it is for a mini happy planner so um it will there will be right a little extension but that's okay because this stays at home so I don't need to worry um so I do have some pockets that I want to decorate and we're going to add this cute little floral and we'll do this one and we'll just do that. So there we have it. So let's go through what I have inside and what needs to be changed. So inbox, this is still good. I have not added to it. <laughs> that is still fine, 2023 with my main plan. Um, I have my finding purpose in life, that's still there. 2022 yearly review. I no longer need this, and did I do it? No, I did not. Um, so we are going to remove this. And it helps because it'll make it less chunky. Eisenhower decision matrix, we're still good. First tab is um, the week overview. So we're good with that. Um, and I got to take out the pages of um, the weekly overview. I really did like this. So I think I'm gonna keep this page, which is the task list. 
um, and doing the time blocking, but I don't think I'm going to use the, the weekly pages because I have, I'm going to be trying something different in regards to my daily planner. Cleaning hasn't really changed. Oh, look at this. I was supposed to do um, Panda Express. That was my goal. <laughs> I guess getting food. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I could take off this one, which was a meal plan. This was my fitness, and did I follow that? Nope. But it is crunch time, so it is hustle for the muscle. So I'll be doing a review, um, an update on February and March. We're going to plan two months because it is half marathon training crunch time, and I need to get that. Um, and I think everything else, you've probably seen it. Oh, I don't need my Christmas movie list anymore let's see just going through everything else books uh, my skincare routine weekly reset okay there we have it so now this is a little thinner which is nice so my reference planner is good to go and now we are moving on to my b6 and we are putting away the white travels notebook, which is from Print Pressure as well. And we are grabbing this, um, which is another Print Pressure. I use a lot of um, their covers. So this was, which is perfect, so I'm going to totally keep this. Um, this is, I think, from Sweet Bean Plans. I'm going to use this, which I believe I probably used last February because it has the X and O, which we're going to keep, and those are stickers. This was just like kind of like a notebook of more, um, I guess, affirmations kind of in a way. Oh, and here's some more stickers. Hey, you leave those. Those are cute. And... So we will put this here. See, that's the fun part with Traveler's Notebook is because you could add um, other notebooks in as well. So it's kind of something cool. And with that, we're actually going to put this, I think, let me move this one to the front. And I think this will give a little more spacing or when I fold it. Yeah, there we go. So, so there we have it. You can see how chunky it is with getting on the stickers and this is how much I have left. And for this one, what we will do is add the, we'll add the I love you. I wonder if there's a way. What I'll do is that just to make it a little more cute. So that is there. And then I'm going to put the other X's and O there. Can't really see it, but I think that's going to be okay. And there we have it. So I have like this piece of washi sticking out because I need to um, cut it. But so my plan for the rest of February is to use this page here as my pre-plan for the f like the upcoming week. So I've been using it as just like a week overview of what's currently happening, but I'm going to do it in, I guess, the reverse. So we are going to plan for the week of the 13th. So Valentine's Day week and let's plan. So the book is, right, since it's getting chunkier, it needs a little extra weight and that is how we're going to do it. 
But so I am using this three page kit um, from Sweet Pink Elephant. I think they already changed their name, but I thought it would be um, kind of a cute one to use. And so this is what we have. And so this is going to be right pre planning. And so with that, it's at the end of um, the week. And so that's, I would say, kind of the annoying part. But I think it will be okay in the short term. And when I'm looking for my next planner, I think I'll want this to be in the front. But we are just going to make do with what we have I'm just gonna put the um, little washi on the top as well as the bottom because I don't really use this in my daily because there's not enough. So looking here, what we have, there's not a lot of stickers, which is gonna be perfect for the daily pages because I don't need a lot. We have, um, these are like really skinny ones and they kind of can make a picture. Um, so that will be like filler. Um, and then I made these like so long ago. This is right, right when I started getting into sticker making. And so the colors aren't quite there, but I mean, they're not terrible. So I'm just gonna still use them. But the main one is these the um the monday through friday which we will be doing for dinners so we are going to start that off and so oops and let's just say i've had the these sticker kits this one particular for a really long time um, I do have these other washi, which I thought the colors kind of went together. So I thought it would just be kind of fun to add a little extra glam if I didn't want to use these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have seven, which I won't use the full boxes then because I want to kind of keep those for the dailies. So we're just adding the image here. It's kind of cute, right? We can zoom you in. And let's see, I don't think I have maybe a build due. I probably have something. So I'm going to add two of them. And then we are going to add another one of these cute little images. And then a glitter. And I'm actually going to stretch this all the way to. And there you go. Couldn't even see it. I'm sorry, guys. And we are going to add one there. And I think I have a really skinny one up at the top. Just trying to fill it in. Okay, so there we have it. So it's basically dinners and bills for this first section. And then what I need to do is any, I guess, activities that need to happen. So we're gonna call those two days. Which would be, I know I have like the book club, um, 
actually, we're going to actually call that, change this. It is going to be called this week. Um, so that's that. And then a two clean will be of this one. So I need to think about going, um, into this planner and looking at my cleaning section, wherever it may be, this section here and look at, um, Here's the cleaning checklist going over what needs to happen um, for which like office, kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, living room. So I need to go through that. And I will do, this is going to be for workouts. And then I'm going to add one of the cute glitter or why am I calling it? holographic? It's not glitter. Um, as well, we'll add, might as well, add a little bit of another glitter header. And then I have two more images, so I'm gonna add this one. Okay, and then there is a to go. And with that, I'm trying to think if there's, um, I will take this one. And then this last column is what I'll actually do is my morning and my evening routine. And I will have it listed out with using um, my dot markers. So just flipping back to see what I normally do. Um, but the first thing I do is I feed Tux and then I get myself breakfast. And then I do my morning devotional. I do a write the word journal. And then I do the Bible reading for the Bible recap. Um, and then I get ready for the day. And then I walk, tucks again, and then it's off to work. Um, and then my evening routine, this will be like after dinner routine, I guess you could call. So that would be, I'd start off with walking tucks. And then I do the shower. And then, um, depending on what day it is, so what I will do is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. These are gonna be different based off of what is in here for my skincare routine. So I have, on Monday, I have the drying mask. And then on Wednesday, it is the apricot scrub. Then Friday is the honey mask. And then Sunday is the apricot scrub. And 
Then Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, I don't really do anything extra special for my face, um, for my skincare. So that's kind of something different. Um, and then after showering, I might like, you know, watch YouTube. So we'll put YouTube and then read and journal. These could be in, um, I would say different order. They don't have to be one, two, three, and then it's bedtime. So there we kind of have it. So this is my my evening and then this one is my morning and that is pretty much it we are all set up for the month of february i hope you guys have a great rest of the month and until my march setup bye